Welcome back trainers and today I have a treat for you. We're going to be taking a look at Runirigus with its new move Shadow Claw and this is going to be a massive improvement here. So it's going to be a ground and ghost type. We have quite a few things we need to look out for. We're going to kind of test a couple of different third Pokemon. We got the Lapras here up first and then we're going to throw on the Swilus and well Mawile is just going to be on the team now because I am in love with that new quick move. It works so well with it. But enough about Mawile, it's going to take the spotlight here in a moment, but Runirigus, it did well. I liked it. I was going with Sand Tomb and Shadow Ball. Of course, you're going to want to go with Shadow Ball. Uh, and uh, simple as that. If you get a good lead, oh, you're going to be looking just perfect here. But you also do need to look out. It's not going to be like necessarily tanky, okay? Uh, when it does resist something, it's going to be nice. But other than that, you have to look out. But with that said, if you do enjoy my videos, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you need to turn notifications on. And I do not know why they backed out with that Wigglytuff in the beginning. I, you got me. All right, so they have a Seismitoad in the back. We're going to go straight for the Shadow Ball. Now, I was thinking they were going to hit me with like a Muddy Water, which would be super effective. I don't think it would be enough, though. They go for Earth Power, which is probably going to be doing more. Now, they could have Poison move, right? Poison Charge move on there. Nonetheless, we're taking that win up against it. Wigglytuff going and taking us out with a Charm. Bringing in the Mawile to finish it off with an Iron Head. Like I said, it's going to be taking that spotlight. No, Renurgus is doing well. I was very happy with the performance. This thing is really fun to use. Next matchup, we do have an Alolan Muck, which is going to be dark, super effective, but it does have Poison Jab. We still do need to look out for the Dark Pulse. We can let one go and still be okay here. But we're going to go ahead and swap after lowering the defense, and they make a systematic swap into their Machamp while we do bring in our Lapras here. This is not the best position, so I decided to go ahead and let this go, knowing we would survive. Getting off this Surf, I undertapped that there, but they used their shield anyways because I decided I wanted to farm a little bit more with the Runirigus to see if we can pull this back when they do potentially bring in the Alolan Muck again. And if we can get all their shields, that last one there, Mawile is going to be able to run a Muck. Even if there's a Fire type, it's going to be close, but we can still do a ton of damage with Play Rough. So we're going to town with the farm down up against Machamp and it is putting up a fight before it does go down. And we're going straight for the Shadow Ball here up against the Azumarill, swapping into the Mawile. They still got one shield, and they're bringing in their Muck. We're going to go for the Iron Head. It's going to do plenty of damage here. Play Rough is always going to be doing a ton, and they're getting to a charge move. This is going to be an Acid Spray, so they're going to debuff us while doing no damage and getting a good shield there. So it's all up to Mawile. Renirigus is not looking too good. It's like one more quick move, and it's out of here. So we're going to go ahead and shield that up. It is a Play Rough. I had to call it. I mean, it was either going to be a... Hydro Pump or a Bait, whatever, we fell for it. Well, that's their strongest move. We didn't fall for anything. All right, so we got their shield, and now we're going to go ahead and go for the Play Rough. And I do believe, I don't know what happened. Maybe the game froze, or who knows what else happened there. But we're taking the win, moving on to the next one. Leading with the Runirigus the entire time. Now, this is a lead you want to see. Ice Punch is not going to be appreciated, but it's still going to be a great matchup. They're going to be swapping into Galarian Stunfisk and locking themselves. We're going to go for a Sand Tomb. Lower the defense, and we're getting some beautiful lag here as I'm trying to swap. And I don't even know how much energy they just farmed up there, if they were able to. So with the defense drop, we're going to be doing a ton, pretty much KOing here, but they're going to be using that shield. Rock Slide, it's not going to be enough. We're going to, yeah, it's definitely going to not be enough. We're going to let that first one go. Kind of like a third shield, you don't need to shield up that first one if the quick move is not going to KO you. And we're going for another one. Let's see if they want to maintain that swap and double shield this thing, and they do. So we are going to do the same here and hopefully take them out. And unfortunately, I'm just going to spoil it. They're going to get to a charge move right about here with one HP. So that's okay. That's all right. We're going to bring in, I do believe, the Mawile. Yeah, start building up that energy with that fairy wind. Now, I thought they were going to try to catch here. So I was being a little cautious, but we were able to get them. This is going to KO the Metacham. And I mean, look at this fairy wind in combination with the... Shadow Mawile, it's just amazing. So I did swap into our Rhaenyragus because I wanted it to get a little bit more play. They go for Shadow Sneak, we survive it. Shadow Ball is going to do a bunch. We're going to have a double KO, but we still do have the Mawile in the back, so we're taking that win. We could have stayed there and went for a Fairy win, but you know, I didn't want the Mawile to continuously take the spotlight. Now we have another Metacham lead. Let's see what we have going on here. So we're going to go straight for the Shadow Ball. They're going to be throwing their Azumarill to catch it, which is going to be a nice catch. Absorbing it quite nicely. Getting one more Shadow Claw with the energy and then bringing in the Mawile here. I'm going straight for the Play Rough. 
I usually like to let it go and this is going to be doing a ton of damage and that's all I needed to do. I just needed to bring it down that low. So the Spilus will be joining us. Is it already here? Okay, yeah, it is. So I kind of was a little determined to take this out. That's why I shielded that up. Want to keep it healthy. We'll let this one go. Just wanted to make sure it wasn't a hydro pump hitting me with a play rough. And I'm sure I'll get a shield from whatever. They're bringing in Metacham. Okay. So I could have went for double Iron Head or Iron Head then made it to play rough. Maybe shield this up. But that's okay. Let's not use our last shield. Hitting us with a nice punch. Bringing in Runirigus. They got one shield as well. Retreating with energy and bringing in their Galarian Stun Fist. So yeah, Dragon Breath is going to be resisted. But the Dark Pulse is still going to be doing a decent amount. Plus we just lowered their defense with the Sand Tomb. So let's see what we have going on here. So we could have stayed with the Runirigus. But this Phyllis just doesn't have the particularly the best matchup up against Metacham because, well, you know, it's weak to fighting and all. And Metacham is just a tank. It's not taking super effective damage from the dark here. So we're going to under tap so we can farm up a little bit. This is perfect. We just need a couple of Shadow Claws. And that's really, yeah, all we really need. We're going to be looking good here. All right, so they swap into their Metacham. I'm hoping we can get their last shield and we do. This is great. So Psychic is going to be bringing us down very low, and that's exactly what they went for here. Now all we need to go for is Sand Tomb, and then a Shadow Claw will take out the Galarian Stunfisk. And Rhaenyricus, I mean, the other Pokemon are not pulling its weight. Yeah, we had a great lead, but it's still doing something. It's not like if it's super effective against something, it's not going to be great. I mean, what th this thing is ranked like, what, 13 now on the Open Great League? So, yeah, with Shadow Claw, it made all that much of a difference. All right, so we have a good lead up against Nido Queen here. You don't really need to shield it. They hit you with a double Earth Power, then yeah, you know, if they actually get there, but that's going to require them to shield. So going for another Sand Tomb. You couldn't go straight Shadow Ball, but I decided this is, you know, looking a little bit better. This is definitely going to be a Poison Fang. So letting that go and surviving, getting to the next one. And this will KO if they do not shield up. They're letting it go. Sweet. This thing is putting in the work. Frost Last, okay, got a good amount of energy there. So I do believe we're going to have to double shield if it comes down to it with this Mawile because Phyllis simply cannot go up against it. But they're going to be retreating with a little bit of energy and bringing in a Shadow Swamper. So this is great. We're going to let this go, no problem. Hydro Cannon is still doing a ton of damage because Swampert is just so stinking OP. You already know what it is. But at least we're resisting it and we don't have to shield up that first one. We're not shielding up at all. We can't shield up at all. We're going to go in here, farm up a little bit before they get to their next Hydro Cannon. Hit this Iron Head. They are shieldless at this point since they used their last one. And getting to our Iron Head. And this is going to KO the Frostless Ice-type Mawile, helping us take the win at the end yet again. Let's go. All right, folks. I love this team. Having a blast with it. Rhaenyricus is a really fun pick. And yes, yes, we do have another Metacham lead. You better believe it. They swap it into their Sableye. We bring in our Spilus. And we're going to go ahead and go for the Dark Pulse. I'm not even going to try to bait because, well, do I? Eh. Oh, we're Dragon Breathing all the way down. That's right. All right. We shielded that up. That's no problem. Using that shield is going to be worth it. Expecting that Metacham. And then we're just going to go for double one of these here. And then just come in here with Rhaenyricus and see what they have in the back. If we can get these shields, Mawile's still going to be able to do some damage, even if it's a Fire or Steel type. Really, if it's a Registeel, it's going to be a little difficult there, but... Uh, Play rub still does good damage. All right, so down we go. We've gotten both shields. Fantastic. Bring it into Rhaenyricus. Ice Punch is something you need to think about, but we're calling a Power of Punch, and that is just great. Getting to the Shadow Ball up against our shieldless opponent, Metacham. This will KO. What's in the back? We have a Galarian Stunfisk. And, well, we're just going to go for the Shadow Ball right off the bat here. Just do as much damage as we can since these shields are down. Could have went with the Sand Tomb, and then Shadow Ball, but whatever. This is good enough here. So we will shield this up. Figured they were going to bait me here. Uh, there could have been a little twinkle, a little sparkle of hope for them to win, potentially if they had enough energy to get to Earthquake when my Mawile comes in. But I don't I don't see that happening here because they just, now, now there's no possible way. All right, so we're taking the win with Fairy Wind up against the Galarian Stunfisk. Next battle, met with the Needle Queen. Love to see it. So this time it is going to be Shadow. Uh, Earth Power is going to be doing more. The next Poison Fang is not going to KO, so we don't have to really worry about it. It's kind of almost the same, although Earth Power is still doing a lot more here. And we're going to be doing more damage as well. There you go. And they're going to be retreating into their Azumarill. So we're going to go with the Sand Tomb, lower the defense, and then swap into the Mawile. Because Mawile can handle this thing a lot better than the Fire Fang 
version because of the spammability of Play Rough and Iron Head. Iron Head's still doing a decent amount. And we're going to go right for the Play Rough. We're just going for the big damage. It's going to bring them into the low red. Look at the Maw Wild go. I'm loving this thing. And then we farm down. They don't even throw a charge. What happened? That was confusing. Okay, well, I'll take it. Still holding on to two shields, a bunch of energy. And it's a Dunspar. So we're going to go straight for the Play Rough. Maybe should have went for Iron Head. Getting a little greedy, but they're letting it go. Absorbing it, bringing in Needle Queen. We get to another charge move. Fairy Wind, Mawile, Shadow. Just going to town and taking no prisoners. Bringing in the Rhaenyragus to just absorb this here. Kind of wanted to shield this up a little bit. But then I was thinking, okay, Spylus, let's go ahead and have a little action here. We're going to let all of this go. And then just, uh, you know, shield up the Dunspar. It's as simple as that. We still have two shields. I think actually we win this with two and this KOs. Plus one more Dragon Breath, if I recall this correctly. And yeah, that's about a wrap there, taking that. Although they didn't throw with their Azumarill, so it's not like, oh, one with two shields. All right, next battle, we're met with a, oh man, this is great, a Deoxys defense form. So they swap into Obstagoon. I don't necessarily have a great answer. You know, Mawile is going to be okay, uh, but they're still doing a decent amount of damage here. So we have to be a little cautious. Since we did lower their defense, we're just going to go for the Iron Head because, well, that's simply going to be enough, plus the couple of more fairy winds after that so we're letting this go it's going to be obstruct so they just lower their defense and raising theirs and well now they're just at neutral but if they go for another one they got me i figured it was going to be that but i just wanted to keep the health alive all right so we just need to win this matchup here and they let it go beautiful so they lowered our defense they're going to take us out immediately we can bring in runirigus and we're back where we want it to be so what they are doing is they probably have Psycho Boost plus a little bit of energy. So they're going for one, retreating into Vigoroth, which I just systematically swapped. So Spilus is going to be super effective, but it's going to be taking a lot of damage from the counters Deoxys. So we could have, you know, stayed, done a Sand Tune so we can do more damage. But this is still all right. They're going to be able to take us out here. We don't need to worry about them getting to a Bulldoze. There's no problem at all. Look at Rhaenyragus doing the taunt thing there. So we're going to let this go, knowing it is going to be a body slam. And then the Deoxys' counter is also going to be resisted. So Rhaenyragus is going to be able to finish it off here. Let's see if we can get that last shield right off the bat with that sand tune we do. And there is your showcase, folks. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. It was really fun to make. I actually recommend this Pokemon highly. It's really fun. Not that the other ones haven't been great, but this one was definitely had that fun factor to it. Thank you for watching and take care, trainers. Hey, so you're finally here. <laughs> Fantastic.